Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. It is 4 o'clock in the morning in Brisbane, Australia and here's the video with the best pre-workout you can make yourself at home and make sure that your ingredients, you, you control your ingredients. If you would like to put one thing more than other, because you feel that impacts your workout, you have your power to change your pre-workout to suit your, your needs. So what I'll do, not only make the pre-workout, I'll also explain how it works and why it's so effective. Also, every single ingredient of my pre-workout will be in the description down below. Um, feel free to one click and buy it. I've got no affiliation with those items. However, it's just easy to um, reproduce what I'm doing here. Also, there will be a card appear on, on, uh, above now from yesterday's video because pre-workout, you make it to ensure that your workout is efficient, is strong, and uh, you have all the power you need to, to do this. So to create condition for that exercise, you need to start pre-workout condition in the evening. So it starts with preparation for good sleep and good sleep. So I created a video yesterday, what supplements to take to ensure good sleep. Everything is natural, everything is um, supporting your body in recovering. So every morning, it is important to start with apple cider vinegar. I recommend uh, bright apple cider vinegar. Look, I've got no affiliation, but it's organic. It's pretty good and it tastes better than any other vinegar that um, I tested um, from local supermarket or online. Um, I take approximately between 50 to 100 grams. Um, and that's enough. I'll explain why we need apple cider vinegar and what it does to you in a second. All right, that's all. So when we wake up, the main reason why we wake up because uh, hormone cortisol suppresses hormone melatonin in our body. When melatonin diminishes and cortisol rises, uh, body becomes stressed and wakes up from sleep. We wake up fasted because we're already between 6 to 12 hours without food. And to get body going in any state, body thinks we need sugar. So as release of common cortisol happen, the process starts which is called gluconeogenesis. And when uh, this is where body makes its own glucose, um, I don't want to go into uh, bioprocesses, but that's what happens. To make sure that you've got enough energy for your exercise and your energy is clean, good and powerful, you don't need glucose in your body. And apple cider vinegar will regulate the glucose level and make sure that it stays low. Also, apple cider vinegar and empty stomach will uh, ensure acidity of the stomach and will help, help to, to um, to prep you for the day of food intake. Plus it's got a lot of good enzymes and bacteria. Anyway, apple cider vinegar, it's the first ingredient. Pretty much nothing to do with pre-workout, but you making sure that your gut flora is great. And yes, it has to do with workout because you don't need glucose in the body. All right, we're finished with apple cider vinegar. So here we're moving towards pre-workout. Uh, what I already put in a cup uh, is a half teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Yes, you may think like, are you crazy? Why do you need salt in the morning? First of all, when we, uh, before we um, went to sleep, we had a um, drink with potassium and magnesium glycinate. That is a part of electrolyte. We, the electrolyte and, and the way it works in the body, it's potassium sodium pump right uh, so we need sodium to make sure that muscle efficiently uh, pulls and pushes so salt and a morning coffee because you you, you excrete salt with with urine and in, 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 in the middle of the night and in the morning when you pee you will need to replete your salt levels so salt goes in the coffee 
when I say the coffee, that's what I'm making. I'm making specific pre-workout coffee. So salt is the first ingredient. Half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, depends what you can tolerate. I sweat a lot during workout and then go to so on after workout. I'll take between half to full teaspoon of salt. The second ingredient is cayenne pepper. Yes, it is pretty harsh and I would say put as much as you can. I put quarter of teaspoon. Uh, what it does, cayenne kind of pepper has an active ingredient which is uh, capsaicin and capsaicin proven to raise body temperature, right? So it has amazing thermogenic effect on the body. It will help to oxidize your fat deposits in the body and make sure that you start, when you start producing ketones, your energy will come from ketones and not glucose. So you melt in the fat faster, you make it more, melt it more efficient and you utilize the fat for fuel and not glucose. And it's very important because your energy will be stable, it will be plentiful and you'll feel uh, empowered. The third ingredient I will add when I'm making coffee is MCT oil. I'll put a link down below where I get my oil. Remember, if something is labeled MCT oil, it doesn't mean it's a quality oil. MCT stands for medium chain triglyceride. Uh, fats. So what is important that medium chain, it's a very technical term because medium chain is between 6 to 10 carbon atoms in, in the chain and you should strive towards 8. So if you buy cheap MCT oil, it could be 6 carbons, it could be 10 carbons, 8 is a perfect composition of MCT oil. So the more expensive you go, it's more isolated to eight carbons in the chain. Um, if you never try MCT oil, I will start slow, maybe, you know, half teaspoon to teaspoon. I add one to one and a half teaspoons in my coffee. And that is my concoction. So that's my coffee machine. Let's power it up. I've got already salt. I've got already canned paper. In the middle of making coffee, I add MCT oil, so it will be easy to mix together. And at the end, let's start the coffee machine. And at the end, when coffee is ready, I will drink my coffee with magnesium malate. It is important to have particular magnesium at a particular time. Before you go into sleep, it is magnesium glycinate to relax your muscles, to make them recover. In the morning, it must be magnesium malate. It will help your muscles to fire up. It will make them stronger. It will make them more resilient to effort you put in. So, let's recoup. You've got salt as a sodium, magnesium, potassium pump in, in, in the cells. You've got uh, canned paper to thermogenically rise temperature of your body. You've got coffee, which is amazing stimulant. And you've got MCT oil. I did not explain why we need MCT oil. Because if you only fasted for 8 to 10 hours, if your meal was, let's say, 6 or 8 p.m. and you are uh, uh, drinking your pre-workout at 6 a.m., uh, it's 12 hours, it's great. You start ketone production. But if you only fasted 10 hours, your ketones not yet flowing. MCT oil will go to liver and don't have any other choice, but liver would break it down and into ketone bodies, right? So you kind of artificially or naturally forcing your body to flood it with ketones, which this is what you want during the workout. So you've got salt, magnesium, potassium in the body as electrolytes. You've got your coffee, which is stimulant, gives you energy. You've got uh, cayenne pepper with uh, capsaicin, which is rising your temperature. You've got MCT oil that flush it with ketones. If you drink it warm, if you drink it half an hour to an hour before exercise and get to gym, you will be amazed how warm, strong and ready your body for the exercise. Let me know what you think of this pre-workout, put comments down below and let me know if you would like to hear any more videos um, in subject of fitness, 
product review, supplements or anything else. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, hit notification bell. Until next time, Brisbane, from Brisbane, Australia.